the Rugby World Cup 2023 competition has got underway and the French beating the All Blacks in the opening contest 29 points to 13. Now the first half it was extremely close between these two sides but throughout the second 40 is when the French really started to find some dominance but throughout this review we will be looking through at the try scorers also the key moments in the game as well as key players but jumping straight into it this game both sides decided that they wanted to play it at a fast tempo throughout the early stages which was interesting because 28 degrees celsius is the amount of temperature that they were working with it probably felt a lot hotter out there on the field the all blacks they were sweating during the haka and they were certainly sweating throughout the early stages when the french were trying to apply that pressure we saw the rolling mall and the scrums of france were finding a lot more success than what the all blacks were when they were in the same boat in fact the scrums i think overall really struggled for the all blacks it didn't help them out one bit france winning penalties when they had the feed and also winning penalties when they didn't have the feed was just allowed that little bit more position. But throughout the first half, the All Blacks, I believe the position was 57% in their favour. The second 40 minutes, they were a lot more keen to kick the ball away and allow France to play their game of either going for that kick towards the corner or being able to run it back. Some brilliant performances from the forwards in that French side throughout the game as well. But the try scorers... In this game, we did see two tries scored by the All Blacks, both coming within the first three minutes of individual halves and both being scored by Mark Delia. So doing very well to get over that try line twice. Unfortunately for the All Blacks, though, it just wasn't enough. France were also able to get themselves the two try, the first of which being scored by Damien Pinot. This was only a couple minutes after having one of his tries disallowed after Richie Moonga was able to slap the ball out of his hands as he reached out. To score the try but then the second try it was scored by melvin jaminet right at the end of the game taking the high ball and getting past in fact it was richie moonga who is able to spin out of that challenge and get himself the try so a relatively high scoring first game definitely compared to what we saw in that first half but the fact that the all blacks were only able to score themselves five in the second 40 minutes will definitely make them that little bit concerned i should mention the penalty count from this game was relatively high. The All Blacks given away around that 12 mark. So discipline still seems to be a bit of a problem for the All Blacks as they move throughout this Rugby World Cup competition. Their next game will be up against Namibia. It'll be very interesting to see what kind of side they go with in that contest and how many changes they do make due to the fact that some players didn't really step up in this game. Others had decent enough performances, but it just wasn't enough to walk away with a victory. When we look through at the French side, of course, Dupont, relatively solid throughout this game. The front row, I feel like Pietro Malvaca, when he came off the bench, it was relatively early on in the game due to the injury of Julien Monchamp. But straight away when he made his way out there, he was able to have a real impact, whether or not that was his running game or just getting those lineouts relatively accurate. In the back line, I quite like what we saw from Gal Ficu every once in a while when he was involved and also Damien Pinot on the outside still had those individual moments that make me think going to be right up there for top try scorers but for the All Blacks if we had to pick one player who stepped up it was probably Mark Talia another player who I'd argue didn't do too badly in this game was Scott Barrett he was making a lot of tackles inside of the All Blacks 22 but there was no one really getting in there and getting those turnovers for the ABs I think they only managed to get themselves one penalty for the French not releasing throughout their whole game of course we will have to rewatch that one and see exactly where those little moments were that the ABs could have perhaps looked to get those turnovers. But I think there was also credit to the French forwards for not allowing the All Blacks to counter ruck. And overall, a very good start to the Rugby World Cup for this France side. But thank you all very much for tuning in. I mentioned our New Zealand, their next game will be up against Namibia. For France, their next game, it is going to be up against Uruguay. That will be taking place next Friday. But thank you all very much for tuning in to this very short review. If you did enjoy be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Let me know what you thought of the game in the comments down below and who you would have given the man of the match performance to. And we will see you all for the next one.